Well, Real Salt Lake's new ownership group with Ryan Smith and David Blitzer met with the media today, and after purchasing the franchise for close to $400 million, they want to take RSL to the next level. Ever since RSL became available 16 months ago, Ryan Smith was extremely interested. But that little Utah Jazz purchase kind of took precedence. Our ownership group took a look at RSL a year ago, and two weeks later we were under contract um, with the Jazz. And so we've been a little busy, but our, our love for what RSL brings to this community in the state of Utah has not wavered at all. David Blitzer is part owner of several professional franchises, including the Philadelphia 76ers, New Jersey Devils, and six soccer teams around the world, and he always wanted to own an MLS team. I was really excited to invest in the MLS. It was about the right market and the right partner, and I got hugely lucky here. Deloy Hansen wasn't exactly known for spending big on players. Will Blitzer and Smith open their wallets to attract the top talent? And the reality is Ryan and I are extremely competitive individuals. And, um, you know, we want to see um, Real Salt Lake win the MLS Cup. I mean, that's like abundantly clear. Um, so, you know, we haven't figured out exactly like we're going to spend X on that player from, you know, that team. It takes a little bit of time, but if you look at, you know, both the Jazz and the Sixers, or fifth and sixth maybe in payroll in the NBA, and still pe people still criticize us for not spending <laughs> enough. So um, I think our track records are pretty pretty good here. One thing both Smith and Blitzer want to do is bring back the Utah Royals, which they can do as early as 2023. We're huge believers um, in uh, women's soccer and in the NWSL. So from our perspective, we both agreed very, very clearly um, on day one that we want to make that happen. This is just such a great thing for Real Salt Lake to have that kind of leadership yes. and stability in the ownership position.